What's up everybody, this is G6B and today I'll be unboxing WWE 2K14 Made from 2K Originally that uh, WWE is finally went to 2K because of uh, THQ is already bank bankrupt and uh, having a hard time trying to catch up on the games but too bad that THQ is gone and now 2K is here and I'm unboxing this game so let you guys know that uh, the front cover of this game is The Rock, as you can see, which is pretty badass because uh, The Rock has been there for a long time since the Attitude Era. Anyways, let's look at the back cover. Become Immortal. 30 years of WrestleMania, one epic mode, best roster ever, the streak with The Undertaker, and the Dirty Universe. And the, uh, the other part is uh, Hulk Hogan. We haven't seen this guy for a long time, and finally they were able to get Hulk Hogan's character in the game, which is I'm very happy, because apparently what the 2K finally got the right, they finally got the rights to uh, put Hulk Hogan in the game because uh, they were able to uh, get the rights of him since the uh, previous games on how do you call it? I think it was SmackDown, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain or something, whatever. When Hulk Hogan was part of the game. So basically, they got they got the license of him and finally put him in a two two K game, which is pretty awesome. Which explains why uh, they have the original Hulk Hogan and the Hollywood Hulk Hogan, the NWO, which is pretty badass. Anyways, let's open it up. We have the manual here. We have another extra cover of Daniel Bryan in the background, and as you can tell, that uh, I'm gonna do a reference once for once because. Uh, Remember Tekken Tag Tournament 2 when it first came out? It had the official cover, right? They, they had the cover of uh, Nina and Anna Williams here too as well. That's what they did. And I'm going to agree with what I'm going to say. This is this should be a good idea to do because the reason I'm saying is it could be a, it, it, it's a good idea. So you can actually like choose like what cover you want because you know I, I know a lot of people can't stand like just one cover of a video game cover and like this like like oh we don't we don't like this kind of cover we want, we want something better and they give you give you this kind this kind of game let's let's say let's say a uh, Tekken Tag Tournament two like I said a while ago you know like in the first in the first cover you have Hihachi and Jin right. And then when you uh, open open the cover like this, you get Anna and uh, Nina, which is pretty cool. I think uh, PlayStation should do this more often on their on their games. What they uh, create, they should make two covers. Like, and it's a good, it's a pretty cool idea. Like, think about it. Like, look at WWE 2K14. They did a good job doing it. You have the first cover here of The Rock, and they have the second cover inside. When you just uh, op open the thing and take off the CD. You get a, another cover, which is pretty cool. I like this kind of idea, and I, I'm not gonna be over the top, but I, I, I am a Daniel Bryan fan, but I wouldn't uh, switch it to a Daniel Bryan because, like I said, I, I like The Rock better because the reason why I like The Rock better because I been watching The Rock since the Attitude Era, and the Attitude Era is how everybody started. They didn't start from the bottom. They, they were rising from uh, WCW when everybody was from WCW. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Triple H, Mankind, RVD, all those guys. I'm like, those were back in the day. But when you look at it now, they are finally in the WWE and they're legends. Like I said, but The Rock here. He's been the people's champion since the Attitude Era, even though he uh, first went solo, joined the nation, and and then after that he joined the corporation of Vince Man and Shane, and then after all that he got got out of the group and uh, be on his own as the People's Champion. The thing is, there's still a lot of speculations on that John Cena and The Rock crap, and it's really pissing me off. I don't really care about John Cena because I don't give a damn what he does for the past 11 years in the WWE. And uh, the thing is about John Cena, who gives a flying fuck about him? That's the thing. If my brother actually hears me about this one, this rant, he will tell you the truth about John Cena and all the shit he's doing. Anyways, 
there's the game right there is uh installing the game data and let's wait for it and uh once we wait for it maybe i'll give you a sneak peek on what what to expect in this game since we, we are doing the unboxing and the uh, short gameplay if you have to so <clears throat> excuse me my throat's getting a little uh soggy i mean not soggy i mean not ah like you're trying to cough it off and all that hold on hold, hold on for a minute <coughs> okay my bad i had to take a cup because this is just like there's something in my throat or whatever so yeah so it's 99 percent and it's gonna be 100 so we're gonna take here this game data i'm gonna have the save data and all this stuff we're like it's gonna be a lot of shit to do it's gonna be very fun we're gonna play we Maybe I might do a Let's Play series of uh, me doing uh, 30 years of WrestleMania or uh, the Undertaker streak thing. That is, that part is pretty cool, I gotta agree. Anyways, here is the short stuff on this game and look how really done it, everything is. The logo, the thing, and you see me in the background, hey! <laughs> and then all this uh, credit of everybody and they've got the please don't try this at home stuff I mean, it's cool like i know wrestling is for entertainment not to be taken seriously from all that and there is your main menu with the rock with the press the start button this is super bad ass so like i said i'm like i said from this unboxing and this short gameplay i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna show you some stuff that they might they finally have in this game all right let's start off with uh the things we have to expect all right they have this new thing called here called gold rush king of the ring and tag team i don't know what that does but i might have to do it later but i, I want to check out all these stuff that we have we have so far and we have the wwe shop we have the options you have your own wwe thing you can like, manage all this stuff online creations and universe and on here we got some like same stuff or except for the championship let's check out the championship real quick okay so apparently you can make your own title your championship title I'm just make you make it a little bit something so okay you got custom championships or WWE championships you want the design so if we go to the WWE Championships, here are all the belts you have, you can use to customize. And there's a lot of uh, nostalgic ones from the one you're seeing right now, and it's pretty cool. And and, and, there, and we have some like uh, unlockable things in this unboxing video, so uh, I'll show you up. And this pretty much just the stuff that I have to unlock. Which is pretty cool. Anyways, when you, let's go to custom championships. Apparently, you have like five slots you can do, and you can like design your own game. I mean, game title to like whatever your own design. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's it for custom championship. Let's go check the other ones, shall we? Let's see creations, threads. Story, special move, oh we can make it once finisher which is pretty cool. Championship, uh, like we, we, we did that. Let's check out Arena. And uh, we'll do more. So apparently you have stage design, mod and crowd types like from uh, here it says modern, attitude era and classic. Which is, this is pretty new. Which is like the old school golden era. Just by looking at some of the it's pretty cool. Uh, but I do like the attitude era because everybody knows the attitude era. So we have a screen filter. What the hell is this? Whoa, God! Why do we have John Cena in here? Ah, uh, let's just get out of here. We don't need that John Cena crap anyway. So let's let's just go on and uh, see what we have of the roster this is everybody what we wanted to see and apparently you have to unlock every single one of them either by the 30 months of Wrestlemania or we can just do it like from the how do you call it the season pass online pass whatever 
So, yeah. Let's just check what we got besides that crappy ass John Cena. Oh, God. Jinder Mahal, Jack Swagger, Kisler, Wake Ali, Drew McIntyre, yeah. Bob Ziegler, Dean Ambrose. This is badass. David Otunga. Oh, finally he went to the game, but he's not in the WWE for some reason. But he was in that thing last night with that lawyer about that big shot thing. And Darren Young, the game one. Uh, there's the Brian, the yes goat. Uh, but um, let's not get into details. We got Damien Sandow, Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, Christian. Oh, we haven't seen him in a while. I don't know what happened to him. We got Chris Jericho. Oh, it's funny that we got him in here, but where the hell is he? Brodus Clay, Brock Lesnar. Okay, I'm gonna say something. There is a lot of shit that's on Facebook and WWE.com. It says they're doing this thing called Brock Lesnar versus Brock Lesnar. And it's like, what the hell? <laughs> it's just really random, really. Like, you have the modern versus the classic, which is pretty cool. Anyways, we got Big Show, Antonio Cesaro, and Mr. Destiny, Alberto de Rio. It is my destiny. Oh, God. Anyways. We got Justin Gabriel, Kane, and we can't take him serious anymore because he has uh, he downgraded him since whatever, how many years now? It was horrible. Now we got Kofi Kingston, Mark Henry. Oh shit! He's like, look at look at him, look at that. He's like he's about to duck somebody in the Hall of Pain. Look at that shit. That's epic. Okay, we got the Miz. We got Randy Orton. Ugh. Okay, this is the guy that's pissing off everybody right now. And but I thank God that Big Show knocked the shit out of him last night on Monday Night Raw. That was hilarious. Then we got Rey Mysterio. We got The Rock, badass of all. And uh, filming the Hercules. This is I, I definitely would like to see that movie. We got Roman Reigns, the Rock's cousin in this game. Holy shit, look at that. Look how buffed he is. Dude, he's just like the Rock, look at that. If he had these guys on the tag team, they would dominate. Our truth we got Ryback, or like, we can just call him Ryback because he sucks anyway. Santino Marella, Seth Rollins, Sheamus. Uh, we know he's in the engine list, but he's not doing some stuff except for Helping with the little kids, but that's okay. We got Sin Cara, Tensai. Okay, here's the thing where I really got pissed about Tensai. In WWE 12 and 13, they made him a badass. But here's the thing they downgraded him that bad. When he first returned back in the WWE, he was a badass Japanese warrior shit and attacked that manager he always do. But look at him now. What the fuck did WWE do to Tensai? They really fuck him up. And all this stuff in Brutus like Funk is on the roll. I'm like, oh my god, they really fucked him up big time. Anyways, we got Titus O'Neil. He's pretty cool too. He kind of reminds me of Terry Cruz in a way, but I'm not gonna get into details of that. And we got the horrible Mr. You don't know good for business and all that shit. Triple H. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play this big show and knock this guy out right now, if I have to. But we got the Undertaker. Holy shit. We got Wade Barrett. I do like his finisher, that uh, elbow and that one thing when he carries him. It was just pretty cool. And we got Zack Ryder. Oh god, this guy. And as you can hear, yes, they have Goldberg in this fucking game. Which is badass. Anyways, here's the thing about the w WWE Divas Division. It's fucking dead. I'll tell you why. Not many of the classics. No more of that crappy matches they wanted. Like the brawn panty match. Mud mud matches. Pillow fight matches. The spank paddle match. I'm like, oh my god, I miss those shit. But look at this. This is how small it is now. We got AJ Lee. That's crappy bitch I don't even know. Asana, whatever. They got Caitlyn, I don't give a fuck about. And uh, Layla, she's pretty smoking hot, but god damn, look at that set of boobs right there. Holy shit. Anyways, we got Natalia. 
and the bitch herself just like her horrible husband Ugh. Stephanie McMahon once a McMahon always a McMahon you know what I, I would do I would unlock Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat the living hell of Triple H I like to see that shit go down hell no I'm not picking that let's go to one player let's get out of this how do I get up god damn it divas there you go let's go to big show uh finishers and let's do infinity because i want to knock the shit out of triple h so bad because triple h is pissing me the hell off i hate him i first of all i i never liked triple h during the editor there either because here's the thing i don't give a fuck what he does he's just a bitch so, let's do this on Monday Night Raw, shall we? Chris Jericho playing the song. And, we're gonna do the entrance. Here we go. This is the part when I take my frustrations out on Triple H and say, what's good for business? I'm like, fuck you, Triple H. Here's the entrance of the big man. Call him the Big Show. Look at that giant. Holy shit. Cerebral assassin. Man, fuck Triple H. Sorry, I'm I'm uh, recording this on my PS Vita because this I'm I'm I don't have my uh, HD camcorder at the at the time right now or uh, or my best friend's DVR at the moment. I'm actually using my uh, PS Vita recording this and while I'm I already finished my unboxing, but I'm gonna show you a gameplay of this game. So this is the gameplay you're gonna see me beating the living hell out of Triple H using the Big Show. This is interesting. Oh yeah, very interesting because I hate Triple H so much. Here's the thing, I never liked Triple H when he started at all. That gentleman crap on Connor Selmsley and the uh, the stuff with Evolution, Evolution, Degeneration X. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what he does. Look at this bitch, the short hair, Triple H, my ass. Look at that bitch. Are you seeing this? Oh my god. Yeah, you keep walking like that. You try to walk with your uh, idiot father, father, father in law, Chris McMahon. Fuck you, Triple H. Look at that bitch. Look at that bitch. You see that shit? But one thing I am impressed about is not the, it's not the graphics. It's gonna be the gameplay. I don't judge graphics like I used to back in the day on the PlayStation 1 Glory Days, but eh, that's water over the bridge. Nobody cares about graphics, we care about gameplays. It's not I'm like, oh, the game sucks because the graphics are stupid and it's all pixelated. I'm like, come on. It's not about the graphics anymore, it's about the gameplay, you stupid idiot. So anyways, we're gonna take care of this motherfucker right here. I'm gonna beat the living hell out of Triple H. This bitch, I want him to lose. And we're gonna see that. Look at this bitch. Oh yeah, I, I would bow down to me because I'm the great one. No, 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 you're not the great one. The Rock's the great one, you son of a bitch. Get the fuck out of here, Triple H. Look at that bitch. And look at that, I, I have a huge ass TV. That's my stuff. We, PlayStation, all that pretty cool. So let's get started, shall we? To beat the big show in singles action, it almost doesn't seem fair. Perhaps they should be allowed to bring a weapon to the army. Oh, the fuck a minute.
the fuck? I'm doing this with one hand because I... The fuck? He pedigree my ass. Bitch. Uh-uh. Not in my house. Not in my house. Get the fuck out of here. Let's give him another one. Let's pin him. And then there goes the victory. What the hell? He kicked out? I'll give you another one if I have to. This is from last night, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Now pin him. One, two. What the fuck? Okay, that's it. He's getting another one. The fourth one. And you're done. That's it. Fuck your Triple H and fuck your plans. There you go. And Big Show emerges victory. Sweet. Yeah, um, unbelievable highlights of him kicking out. What the fuck? But watch this shit. Watch this. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Boom! Boy, you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> and there goes the victory. That's it. He's done. We got the Big Show, boy. Bad ass. And that's all I have for today, guys. The unboxing video was a, uh, was a success. And a short gameplay of me beating the living hell out of a Triple H using the Big Show. I say this is a good day. Alright, guys. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time in another Let's Play. Take care.